Sir Nicholas Winton never felt comfortable with all the accolades and attention, but the world kept looking for new ways to thank him. Last year, at 105, he was awarded the Czech Republic's highest honor. There in the crowd, some of those he helped to save, humble to the very end. In a way, perhaps I shouldn't have lived so long to give everybody the opportunity to exaggerate everything in the way they are doing today. But Winton's story needs no exaggeration. On the eve of the Second World War in 1939, the British stockbroker hatched a plan to rescue children from Czechoslovakia as the Nazis closed in. Nearly 700 of them hugged their parents goodbye and boarded trains bound for England. Liverpool Street Station saw the arrival of another group of refugee children. Winton helped persuade the British government to let them in and found each child a home. Former CBC correspondent Joe Schlesinger was one of them. You know, I was 10 and 11 when I left home and uh, didn't know my father really that, 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 that well. But this man, I knew him, I loved him, I respected him. He was just such a splendid human being. Here's Nicky with some of his children, namely... But like the others, Schlesinger spent decades not knowing who had rescued him. For half a century, Winton kept his story a secret, even from his wife, until one day she found a dusty record of names and photos in the attic. To me, it was something that I'd done when I was quite young and the war had intervened and uh, it was finished. Soon after word got out in 1988, Winton was invited to a TV studio with no idea the segment was in his honour or who was in the audience. Is there anyone in our audience tonight who owes their life to Nicholas Winton? If so, could you stand up, please? The day the war broke out, another train was supposed to leave for England, but the Nazis stopped it. None of the 250 children on board was ever heard from again. What am I to do? To rejoice that those were saved or commiserate because the war broke out? Very difficult to know what to do. Winton considered the children he had saved to be his extended family, a legacy that not only endures, but continues to grow. There are more than 5,000 and a family that's still growing of, of people who would not have been alive if it hadn't for, been for Nicky Witten. Today, exactly 76 years since the biggest train pulled out of Prague carrying more than 200 children, Winton passed away in his sleep, his family by his side. Jeff Semple, CBC News, London.